Career. Online. Career. Career tool underscore today. Career tool underscore mastery. Career tool underscore timeline. Play. Torkin Sashi Zero. Start round. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From beautiful Banff Springs in Alberta, live opening round coverage of the Alberta Open. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. The leader is Nick Taylor. He's off to a four under start. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. So let's get out to the course as we pick up the action starting at the par 411. Frank, you and I talk about the variety of tracks that we find on the tour calendar every year. And this one, Bamp Springs, different than any of the other courses. You've got the smell of the Canadian pines. We're at altitude. It is our one tournament of the year north of the border. I don't know about you, but this is a trip that I really look forward to every year. Well, ca Canadians just love their golf too, Rich. And I know they have more left-handers than just about any other golfing nation. But you're right, the beauty is just stunning. Plus that altitude you refer to is nearly 5,000 feet. So that ball just goes forever. But um, I, I remember first going to Banff in the late 90s, and I, and I was just absolutely in awe. The ice fields, it is a beautiful part of the world. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Okay, that ball on line all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And he'll move to three under here, just one shot off the lead. All right, on to the 12th hole, 442-yard par four. What do you like about this hole, Frank? Just a nice par four that sort of bends to the player's right. A lot of people will just stand up here, grab the driver. I don't really think you have to do that, Rich. The hole's not overly long. Just something short or down that left side. Um, you're only going to have a short iron in for your second shot. Trying to curl this one back toward the fairway. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notabagay the third. He's got 95 yards to the front. 102 gets to the hole, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. Sandwich takes flight, and I don't think it's going to carry. But he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. This yes, one didn't quite look right on that one.
Ooh, maybe a misread there, and that curls by to the left. So, a tough hole, and it's in for bogey at 12. And that's going to drop him to two under. This is a good hole right here. Par 3, 225 yards, 13. Frank, what do you think? Well, it's called sulfur. I don't remember what element that is on a periodic table, but the um, hardest thing here is not to figure that out, but figure out what club you're going to use. Just a fraction downhill, just over 200 yards. It does narrow up when they start to tick the flag in the back, but there's a nice fat target there, sort of those first two-thirds of the green. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. Three putts, a definite possibility here. This is a long look for birdie. Seems unfair sometimes. <laughs> that looked in the whole way. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And he'll fall back to one under par. On to the 14th hole now. It's a par four, 442 yards. And what's the right way to attack here, Frank? Two choices. Try and squeeze it down the right side, uh, just short of those big bunkers on that right. Either that or carry the bunker complex on the left. A little awkward. And all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. Yeah, we've got 127 yards left to the hole today. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. This is a 13-footer. Safely in, it's a bogey here at 14. And that's gonna move him back down to even par.
Well, now the par fours begin to stretch out a little bit. The 15th here, Frank, is 475 yards. Certainly want to put your big shoes on here. Nice big slinging draw off the tee might help go a little further. Does go downhill considerably, so you get a little bit more run out of the tee shot if you did that. 